everybody, welcome back. It's Friday, December 4th. Um, I got the filter thing here. I guess it's called a fuel tank joint uh, for this bedding chopper. So we're going to get that together and see if we can get that running. I um, Yesterday, I got the tank cleaned out. I think I said that it was mostly actually ice in there. I don't know why I got so much water in there, but I thawed that out. And then I shook some just some clean rocks in there. Shook loose any rust. It looks pretty good now. Um, and then I pulled that out, that, uh, that filter, if you can see, goes in here. Um, and then I guess clean that off. There's a rubber gasket, <clears throat> new one that comes with it. So get the steel cleaned off there and uh, we'll put that back together. All right, got that put in there, tightened down. I just used a, just a 12 millimeter wrench. So it came right out of there and went right back in nice. So now we'll put the tank back on and try it out. All right, we got that all hooked up. Now we'll see if it'll fire up. One pull. to warm up a little bit and clean out. I did put a little bit of carburetor cleaner in the gas too, so I'll have to kind of work that through, but it um, sounds pretty decent. That's the best it's ever started. some of that gas work through there and clean out and we'll try it out. Over here at the silage bag now I got my bale grinder here with a, just one bale of hay in it. I'm not out of haylage yet uh, there's not a lot left so I'm not I'm just gonna chop like one bale per day right now to mix in with it um, so they get used to that uh, dry hay in there and then once the haylage is gone I'll up the amount of dry hay, but then they'll already be used to it. So, but anyway, I got this in here now. Oh, I'm kind of out of breath. I pushed that over here. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to cut the twines off, and we'll fire it up and grind this bale up. All right, got it running. Got the knives engaged. Uh, should be warmed up good, so we'll try it out. that bale through gave me some trouble at first I couldn't figure out why well this gas cap I don't know why but um, I had to loosen this a little bit it was getting wasn't letting any air in and then it wasn't getting any gas so once I did that and got it cleaned back out uh, I suppose I got sooted up a little bit because I was choking it trying to keep it running but anyway the second first half of the bale I had a couple issues but the second half there it seemed to go through pretty good um, and this hay is more grassy too, so it's gonna, a couple times I had to um, get a control here that adjusts the the bite, how close, how deep it sets on the knives. I had to lift that up a little bit 
too to because it's getting a lot at once this hay uh, chops a lot harder than straw so but anyway we'll try this and see like I said if it gets to be more of a pain I might just take the the forge chopper and chop a bunch into another wagon um, but for right now since I'm just doing a little bit anyway I'm just gonna use this so and it's good to get it running anyway so all right well that's what I'm gonna do now let's go feed this all right we got it loaded up in our feed box here um, I got bucket of dry hay in the bottom some corn silage and then haylage on the top and then there was a little bit more dry hay that was just in the bag there so um, we'll run that through. I'll see if I can get some video when we're feeding kind of what this stuff looks like when it comes through here. I'm just finishing up chores here got the cow's milk now um, so we're gonna be feeding silage I gotta grain them um, so I got the feed wagon out here I'll get some video of that and then we'll see what that I'll show you what that f silage looks like now uh, with the dry hay in there so we'll get going on that I got a load of it here in the wheelbarrow I can kind of show you got the uh, dry hay mixed in there nice corn silage and haylage then once I get done feeding this I will um, go through and uh, grain the cows then on top of this so then that kind of gets mixed in too but um, that looks good that'll get a good start get them starting get used to the dry hay again so once this haylage is gone it'll just be the dry hay and corn silage mixed but anyway, I'm going to keep on feeding here.
right, so I got the silage all fed out. Now you just seen me go with the bucket there and scoop out. That's just soybean meal. Um, what we feed for grain, I have a 16% pre-mixed dairy feed um, that they get morning and night. And then uh, that, the, the protein percentage stays the same, but the ingredients change a little depending on what we need to fine tune. Um, and then what I just top dressed now was just straight soybean meal. There is soybean meal in the dairy mix right now, but the reason I top dress extra, it allows me to fine tune a little bit more um, with higher production cows. I can, I can bump theirs up a little bit higher um, in the soluble protein. Uh, helps me regulate my MUN levels, in the, which is milk, urea, nitrogen. That can affect reproduction. Um, and other things. Uh, one thing I really watch, you can, it kind of maybe sounds odd, but you can tell a lot of how a cow is doing by what their manure looks like. You know, if it's too loose, you know, you want to back them off some on that. On the soy meal, if it's getting too firm, you might need to increase it. There's a lot of different things to watch for, but I started going with the soybean meal um, on top of, or you know, with, in with the dairy feed instead of just having it all mixed in one so I can regulate it a little bit better. And I, I put that down first. Um, some of the cows like to sort that soybean meal out. It's real fine. Uh, so that's way I, I put that on first. It kind of gets mixed into their, into their feed or into their forage and then they can eat it. Um, and then I just go through after now and I'll put the, put the grain down. So anyway, that's what I'm doing now. but. I just wanted to explain what was in that pail, what I was feeding. Then I'll go through with the wheelbarrow and grain afterwards. Also, we had had a comment on a previous video where we were using this wagon. If I had, a, if I ever used a silage cart or if that was an option. They do make, um, that light is getting in the way. Like motorized silage carts or, or bigger um, silage carts versus the wheelbarrow. We never have. Uh, we've always just used a wheelbarrow. Well, I guess one reason when we're feeding out of the silo in the barn, um, it's real tight quarters. This barn is real tight quarters anyway. Um, especially the addition is raised up from this one. So you'd have to have a ramp and it's pretty tight to the wall. And also in this older part of the barn where these stanchions are, I don't know if you can, not the best light over here, but um, there used to be high fronted probably like waist high um, cement mangers here so you had to actually flip the wheelbarrows over the top uh, I've taken them out now but still I don't know the wheelbarrows work all right for us I'm not saying I never will get a bigger cart or something but um, it is like I said pretty tight quarters in here right now so that's why we use the wheelbarrows but anyway I'm gonna finish graining up here and uh, be done for the night All right, now we'll head over to the other side and we'll grain over here. Probably see a little better on this side. I got more light over here.
Hey everybody, um, I got uh, sent in some forage samples the other day on the uh, corn silage we made this fall and then I also sent in some of our dry uh, hay, small squares, just some second crop grass hay, I'll kind of show you that, um, just because I kind of wanted to see what they were testing at, um, so I'll go over that a little bit with you and show you the reports we got. Alright, this is some of the hay we tested, like I said it's just a Mainly just a grass, hay, orchard grass, and uh, there might be a little bit of clover alfalfa, but there isn't too much. Um, second, like I said, second crop. And this was the test on it here. Uh, moisture was about 16.87. Crude protein, we were at 14.37. Uh, then they kind of give the ranges over here. So we fell towards the upper end of that, so that was pretty good. Um, and just kind of scroll down instead of me going through all of them kind of what they are and then down at the bottom here the relative food value uh, 127 which is which is pretty good for around here um, obviously it's not you know I think to get dairy quality what they call dairy quality hay you have to be at least 160 um, and then the relative food quality which is actually a number that they uh, use more so now um, from what I've heard, that's actually 175, a little bit over. So I think that was pretty good as well. Um, so then, like I said, that's just, it's not really a fancy hay. It's just a grass hay. But anyway, so that's the thats the hay there. And then we got the corn silage one here. A lot of you were um, wondering about the moisture. Now, this was out of the last bag that we chopped. So this should be the driest corn. Um, and the moisture on this was... 48.94, so just about 49%. Um, so I'm actually actually very happy with that. It's actually more moisture than I figured it was. Um, so that's good. And that stuff is really fermented nice. Um, really working good there. So crude protein on that, 7.15. On a 90% range on that, 5.8 to 9. So we're, we're pretty good there. I'm um, going just kind of scroll down and over some of the other numbers on that. So, um, like I said, the main one I think a lot of people were asking was the moisture on that. So, yeah, that was pretty close to 50%. So, that was I was happy with that. So, anyway, I just wanted to go over those with you and kind of show you, show you what we wound up with there. All right, we got the grain out now. Um, so, they'll be good on that. I'll come down later. We got three cows down here we're checking they're getting closer to calving so I usually come down a couple times a night check on them anyway clean up sweep feed up a little bit um, so I'm just gonna run through now scrape manure down from anybody and uh, I ran the barn cleaner earlier today kind of nice we've been having some fairly warm weather so the cows go out most of the day so I can get by clean the barn once a day if they're in a lot um, when it gets real cold out morning or you know day and night pretty much I try to let them out even if it's really cold for an hour during the day, but now they like I said they've been out, you know, pretty much all day. But then I have to clean it twice a day just because the gutters in the old barn here. Whoops. These gutters are only about six inches deep, so they don't hold very much. But um, anyway, so I'm gonna go through and scrape and uh, we'll uh, get done get done for the day. 